So I'd like to welcome Mr. Uh, Yuan Bin of TE to the stage, Vice President of uh, TE, which is uh, most commonly known as China's Hulu. Um, so the video uh, landscape on the Chinese internet is very complicated, much more complicated than, for example, in the United States. We have a number of different players, uh, m perhaps most famously Yuku and Tudou. Uh, there are also PP Stream, PP Live. Um, there are some government uh, initiatives connected with uh, China Central Television. Uh, but in its own class, uh, we have uh, Qi. Um, so Qi is uh, originally a product of Baidu uh, with funding from Providence Equity. Um, we'll switch into Chinese now. Um, Can you introduce to us the beginning of Qi and its business model? Qi is the youngest video website in China. It's only uh, 13 months since we first started. Uh, our position of our positioning of our company is Hulu in China, and it should be uh, publish all those videos and uh, for for those movies and TV series, how originally, um, for those original websites in China, they they focus on upload a lot of videos. Some of them are pirated, and uh, sometimes they, there is some problem with this IP question. However, Hulu. We solve the problem with the interest of the audience. Uh, sorry to interrupt. So T has no content is uploaded by the customer, right? No, there is no content from our, our website is uploaded by our uh, uh, cus by the public. So for your business model, your f focus is on advertisement, right? Uh, well, you know, in the U.S. for Hulu, the mainly profit is from advertisement, and there is another website. They use this prepay model. There is some problem with this kind of model in China, because the Chinese netizens uh, they need uh, some time to accept those paid services on the internet. However, I think that in the future, in this uh, video industry, we will, we will also have those two models that is uh, paid by the customers and paid by the companies. And now we are explore, exploring this uh, paid by the customers business model. So compared with other video websites in China, what's your advantages? Because T is the youngest one. So we learned the experience of our predecessors and the Tudo and the Yoku. They have cultivated uh, the habit of those netizens in China and the Qi uh, emerged in a good time. Uh, and uh, our investor is Baidu. Actually, Baidu uh, has 80% of those customers in China. Says we have uh, says we have a good customer base. Moreover, for those user experience and uh, user interface new functions, uh, we we are in the we are the leaders in this. Uh, video websites in China. We have some new things for our city, for our netizens, and let them to experience a really convenient way to watch videos on the internet. And these videos are quite clear. No, sir. Now, can we talk about those 
details, those data. Um, uh, since, well, since February this year, our monthly users reaches 120 million, and in March reaches 130 million users. So half of the Chinese netizens, they visit our website. And we reach this number in only one year. It's quite, quite significant. And in this video watching market, uh, we measured that um, we, uh, for the users spent times on our website, we ranked the third. I know you are different from the other internet companies. About two years ago, the China's uh, radio and the television a bureau decided that they will participate in the management of video websites in China. Uh, so what, di what influence will it bring to your website? As you know, in China, uh, the government officials have a strong influence. All these websites are under the control of the government institutions. They, the National Bureau for Radio and Television, they will issue approvals for different uh, video websites and uh, in order to uh, avoid uh, pi pirate, pirated videos and other illegal ways of and the illegal ways. So since last year, the government officials, they try hard to track down those pirated materials. There is one uh, company in China, the, the major uh, boss of that company, they were in jail due to pirated issues. Actually, in the US, YouTube and Hulu, like YouTube is user-generated contact, and uh, Hulu is like Qi. That that's they publish contents with IP. And in China, I always heard that. Uh, always heard people from Tudo and Youku. They say that they are different from YouTube. So, does Tudo and uh, Youku? Uh, create some chaos in this market. Well, this is kind of interesting. In China, this UGC model is quite different from that in the foreign countries. In in the US, the, the, the things uploaded by the customers are, major, are normally created by those customers. However, in China, those say content up updated by those Chinese uh, customers, uh, about 95% of them are pirated TV series and movies. So in China, this UCJ model is in a vicious circle. These pirated uh, materials are not uh, approved by those uh, operators, so the advertisers won't have advertisement on those pirated ideas, um, content. So it's hard for this video website to earn money. You can see uh, all, all those China Chinese video websites will do a mix of YouTube and Hulu. So this is decided by our business model, and it is not decided by us. Uh, if one business model cannot earn money in China, we cannot continue with it. So uh, if you pay for the IP fee, and there's another problem, because this IP charge a lot, it is a large amount of cost for the company. The previous, for the previous model, the cost is quite low, however, you do not have income. 
So there is no circulation of rash, uh, cash. And what is the most popular thing on your website? That's some national uh, Chinese TV series. And why the users they choose to watch online instead of watch on TV? This is a problem with uh, China's tele television industry. I think all the audience you are familiar with this problem. There are few people watch TV now because the content on the TV is quite is too poor, it's boring, and you cannot control the time. So now, um, how how many people do not watch TV in China, and uh, who are they? Maybe in the rural areas, uh, people over 40 years old, they really watch TV, right? Well, according to a survey, I say, uh, I heard that it is uh, related with the education level and the and with the different regions. In those uh, tier one f uh, cities, about 70% uh, of the uh, people under 40, they, under 40 years old, they do not watch TV. I can't remember the source of this report. And in those rural areas, uh, they w there are more people watch TV. So for GE website, um, for your materials, those Hollywood movies account for how much? Well, for if we want to uh, uh, show this kind of Hollywood blockbusters on our website, we need to get approval. And so this kind of content is not not, not much. And for companies like Disney, their IP management and uh, to attitudes towards IP is quite different from that in China. So we are negotiating with a lot of uh, movie companies and uh, have introduced some new foreign films to uh, on our website because our Chinese audience are quite interested in those foreign films. So this for so these foreign films they have uh, approval to uh, to deliver in China. It's uh, not only on cinema but by DVD and other things. Well, uh, actually, the, uh, the foreign films account for a small small part of our own materials. I think that with the opening up of this sector. Mm, it will improve, and uh, actually, the Korean TV series they get a lot of approval approval to be uh, published uh, to be uh, published in in, Chi in China, and also those TVB TV series from Hong Kong. So those uh, Korean TV series uh, was put out in those China's uh, TV te television st st uh, stations. And and uh, can you give us a detailed time a schedule and timeline for this process? Actually, we have a special zoom on our website. That's uh, there is a lot of foreign films like from Warner Brothers. Um, uh, it was uh, put online for about one week. Can you tell me the exact number for the users who pay to visit Chu? Well, it's actually quite small, but I think it's already a big progress. Um, they actually pay the fees uh, for, uh, there is a certain fee uh, based on the month so as to watch some paid programs. We also support some uh, domestic uh, platforms. Currently, Qi is still under Baidu. Is that right? Baidu is uh, the major shareholder of Qi. 
but uh, they do not have the right in terms of managing our operation. But there are indeed some cooperation, right? Yes, of course. It's a real sense of cooperation between Qi and Baidu. Um, can you talk about the future plans, for example, like IPO and so on? Well, actually, IPO is is within our plan because we would like to do uh, IPO to ensure better development of Qi. And uh, maybe next stage, Qi is not only uh, restricted to with PC users, but also we will focus on the mobile users. We have such a concept that is uh, uh, different channels uh, within one cloud. So that is to provide various videos and ensure people at different locations to enjoy those videos. And now, what's the number of people uh, visiting Qi Yi with mobiles? Actually, we now like uh, the CBN Android and the mobile uh, Microsoft and so on have uh, all have all have the uh, related uh, terminals to connect to GE. Uh, decades ago, I is the first time I heard the concept. Many people said it might happen but it's still uh, quite rare. Yes, indeed, to the mobile videos, this concept uh, has existed, existed for a very long time. Yes, people can actually watch videos through mobile, but uh, I think uh, not until the recent two years have we really achieved or realized that, that is to watch videos on mobile at any locations. Mm, there is one consideration that is because the battery of mobile is limited. So if you watch uh, videos for too long, the batteries cannot actually um, keep going that long. But I believe in the future, I think mobile videos should be our future f a focus of our strategy. That is, we would like to provide better service in possible short time. I think time is up. Thank you very much. Um, thank you very much.